Okay, so I did the film called A Place at the Table. And this film basically explains the crisis. Explains the hunger crisis in America. Um, how serious it is um, economically, socially, culturally. It's an implication on our nation. It, The film shows three individuals. So it's a woman named barbie who has two kids basically living in poverty she does whatever she can to feed her two kids um and then there's a fifth grader rosie who doesn't have enough food to eat so it's causing her to lose focus in school and her teachers notice it and they do whatever they can to you know try to feed her and then there's a second grader who is struggling with obesity because um, her mom doesn't have enough money so whatever is cheap she will buy so basically you know what I buy is what you're gonna eat and that's the processed foods and the sugar foods instead of getting fruit and vegetables so she struggles with obesity obesity and then now she's having breathing problems at such a young age that's crazy so basically this film it its whole uh, message is basically making a call to action in regards to the lack of nutrition on young children and families um yeah (laughs) so it's just a big call to action um i found this film interesting because it does go into depth with um with corporations taking over agricultural um businesses and just the whole agricultural part of our world so farmers can't basically farmers can't be farmers because it has to be the corporate's way or you know you're busted or they'll find a way to stop you um so it's really sad it's also or this film is also very emotional because you see families struggling you see the kids struggling and their kids they should have to struggle and how hard these families and communities work just to put not even not even a meal on the table just to have like a portion on the table because that's how little the government is helping them these communities i admire um these communities coming together because they form their own food banks try to feed um each other and they're not selfish about it or greedy about it um so it's really cool to see how they come together but it's just so sad how they have to work so hard and then get nothing out of it because the government the government's the one being greedy and then it's affecting the kids like it shouldn't affect the kids and then at one point in the film they were fighting um an organization through uh, congress and they passed one of the acts and it only made a difference by six cents because lunch meals um were a dollar they were only spending 90 cents to a dollar on lunch meals for kids at schools and this act only helped by six cents like wow what a huge difference right and (laughs) and that six cents that they took they took from food stamps so now food stamps are even less so now you can't you could you can't even buy anything it it's just awful and it's sad and it's emotional but it's it makes you want to like go out there and help and that's one thing that i do enjoy about this film um because i already like the the act of just helping communities and being part of community projects and helping out and it's part of the reason why I like to work in healthcare or I want to work in healthcare is because I like being a helping hand and 
this film definitely makes you want to go out there and help in your community or better your community and also one thing um as being a dental assistant one way to help your patients is just notifying them you know picking healthier is the bet is always going to be the better option because it does affect your overall health but it does affect your teeth health as well and you can educate them on that and that's one way i would educate them but also um choosing local is also another better option too because you're also helping your community and helping yourself um because you are getting fresh foods and not processed foods so i really think this film is interesting and it's definitely one to watch because you get to see how all of that plays out and how emotional and raw um, this film can be